I'm hanging in there, man. I'm hanging in there, man. Feeling, feeling, feeling good. Finito, finito, Craig, finito. Craig played the brand new song today. Yes. Yeah, that's my boy, Top Floor and all that. You, you already know. Thanks for the call. You already know. So, Little Wayne and Pharrell? Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. It's, 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 some tight, it's, it's a tight jeans song. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so what made you want to work with them? Uh, well, you know, Pharrell, me and Pharrell, we go back like four um, flats on the Cadillac, you know what I mean? And um, uh, we, we haven't been in the lab. Uh, we haven't been in the lab like that. So uh, I, 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 we, we worked on like five or six records for this album, and that was one of the, my top picks. And I, I ran to the studio with, with, with Rain, and I was just like, you know, I, I, was, I wouldn't put him on the album cut. I would have to put him on a single. So I put him on a single. And it got leaked. I actually didn't send the record out. He wasn't ready to send the record out. But it got leaked. And you know what? It's doing wonders because that paperwork came into my lawyer today. There you go. Oh, good. Well, congratulations. Right, right. Thanks. Well, I ain't signed nothing yet, so you know, congratulations. You know what I mean? Um, so, Nori, of course, I have to just bring this up, that you announced on Twitter this week, or was it this week, Craig? Last or Last week. week. Uh, all the weeks just blend in together now with the new baby. Um, that you and Capone are no longer a group. I, not, I, I, that's not actually what I said. What I said was it was it was, it was people that, you know, it's, there's, there's, there's constant stalkers. That's, uh, not stalkers, but people who just constantly, yo, when are you going to do this? When are you going to do this? So it was a dude that just constantly hit me about CNN, 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 CNN. And I just was like, you know, at the moment right now, CNN was a phenomenal group, but I kind of want to focus on me right now. You know what I'm saying? I want to, and and uh, not to say that the CNN is over, but for right now, I just want to focus on me. And I think it's important for Capone to focus on himself as well because he's never really went out there as a solo artist and attacked the world and, and, and got his just due. So I, that's how I feel right now. But not saying that CNN won't ever be back in the studio together, but as of right now, we're chilling. You know what I mean? Okay. Because, I mean, I liked what Capone said on Twitter. He basically said brothers before music, so. That's what it is. I mean, my kids are related to Capone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're, that's their cousins. My kids are related to Capone. So, you know, it's, it's, this is way before music. But at the end of the day, uh, we will be family forever. But at the end of the day, let's, let's really focus on our business because this is our businesses. You know what I'm saying? Just because we're friends, we got to really take this serious. So I'm taking it real serious, and I hope he takes it serious, and let's meet at the top, and let's get some more money. What? Did you think that you couldn't go forward with him because you have creative differences? No, it's no creative differences because I, this album, he let me do me. You know what I'm saying? When I said that this hook should be here and, and, and this shouldn't have a hook, he let me do me. But that also made me unattractive to the situation because I, I, I want to be 50-50 on everything. If, if we're 50-50 on splitting the money, I want to be 50-50 on making the music and the direction of the music as well. But like I said, if that's, if that's, if that's my title, if I have to be the leader of CNN, I don't mind playing that. But as of right now, I just want to I wanna mess with this new generation. You know what I'm saying? I, you can't go to a waterfall and say, you know what, this waterfall is, is, is flowing wonderful, but I wish it would flow backwards. You just got to flow with the waterfall. And right now, all this is a new genre. There's a new era. There's, 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 there's people, you know, there's whole new stars. There's whole new uh, audiences. And I want to see if I can survive in this audience. And, and that's, what, that's what this NRE Super Thug album is about. Well, I think that's extremely honest of you to say. First and foremost, because some people think that they just know, you know, and it, the thing is, I think that I'm just impressed with the fact that you said that there are certain artists that have been able to evolve, even if they haven't ha been able to have the career necessarily that they wanted. Like, I feel like Buster has evolved, you know? Well, yeah, exactly. He's a perfect example. Yeah. I think Raekwon has evolved. Right, and, and these guys are remaining relevant, and they're standing next to the people that the, the people are saying is relevant. You know what I'm saying? I gotta put any to me to tell you the truth. Finito is a is a is a smash without Lil Wayne on it. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? What about the two million people who who, who constantly go out there and buy a Lil Wayne album who is now introduced to my life? You know what I'm saying? No, you're exactly right about that. It's all about who has the buzz. They think I'm the new artist. They're like, oh. This why ain't got a record with this new dude named Nori? This is crazy. You know, all, all the things I did in my career, now people are recognizing me because I'm standing next to Wayne. But that just tell you how stupid people are, and that just tell you how smart Wayne is, because Wayne did that on on a strip, on some real love, and I, and, I, and I love him for that. You know what I mean? I, I gave it to him Thursday night. He gave it to me uh, Friday morning. But then that also tells you how smart that you are for jumping on that too, you know? Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So what's going on with the album? When can we expect it? 
Well, the album is the album is titled Super Thug, uh, uh, and we're gonna we're, we're aiming right now for late September, uh, early like early August, late September. Uh, hopefully, with this week, within this week or next week, we close the deal, and I, I'm gonna be in Connecticut. I'm gonna be in Connecticut for promoting. Like, hey, I'm gonna hear about um, Craig's Club called nine sixty, nine thirty, or something like that. Nine sixty. <laughs> it should be called seven thirty, but whatever. Come on, boy, or what? <laughs> 960 on a Wednesday night. <laughs> um, well, anyway, Nori, thank you so much for checking in with us, and we're going to get back into the single. Let's do it. This is your boy NRE featuring Pharrell and uh, Lil Wayne. I might try to fit into some tight jeans in the video. I'm not sure yet. Hang, hang, segue. I lost weight. It's going down. Finito. Nori, don't go. Don't do that. <laughs> Nori, you'll get a yeast infection, okay? It's a a joke. You know, like when Craig put those leather pants on, he's had a yeast infection since then. Oh, my God. His butt is extremely itchy. Nori, I had the gators on. I was killing them out there, Nori. <laughs> yeah, he thought that. <laughs> All right, Nori. Well, thank you so much. All right. I love y'all. Peace, y'all. Take care.